So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a micro SD card to leave in my Pine phone that's just going to be used as an extension of space. So I don't have to, you know, use up any more space in my internal storage. As you can see here, my Pine phone has 93% used up space, so I only have 7% left on my root uh, partition. So what I need to do is create a micro SD card that I can use for my podcast downloads, for movies, or anything else that I want as portable storage or permanent storage for that matter. You can leave the micro SD card in all the time and if you have your Pine Phone operating system flashed onto your internal storage, it's not going to upset the boot. What we're creating is just a simple extension of space and external drive that can act as internal storage. So the first thing we're going to be doing is opening a terminal on our computer. Now I'm on the computer, I'm going to overwrite that micro SD card with random data. dd if equals slash dv slash u random and then of equals slash dv slash mmc blk zero then I'm going to do bs equals 8 M. And what that's going to do is the BS equals 8M is going to allow me to write this a lot faster. So once I do that and I make sure I'm using my computer and not the terminal on my Pine phone, I'm going to go ahead and press enter. It's going to overwrite it. This is going to take a few minutes to overwrite it with random data. So now that we finished overwriting our micro SD card with random data, we're going to go ahead and create the format and file system for Linux so it is recognizable. So what we're going to do is first we're going to list off the devices. We see here at the bottom I have MMC BLK0. That is my micro SD card. If yours is different, be sure to substitute. And what I'm going to do is as root or using sudo mkfs minus t for type ext4 slash dev slash mmc blk0. And now the process is beginning. Now that we have finished creating our ext4 file system format, we're going to go ahead and we're going to mount that drive. So let's take a look at everything. lsblk and then f. And as you can see, the ext4 has been created on MMC BLK0 which is our micro SD card device so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount that micro SD card so I can create the file directories which I'm gonna use for different storage such as podcasts songs and videos so go ahead and mount slash DEV slash MMC BLK0 and then at the end of that put your mount point which is the directory where you want all of the files for your micro SD card to show up on your local computer. So I'm choosing slash media slash JS, which just happens to be a directory I use for this. Now I have mounted it, I can create the file systems and the directories I want to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now cd slash media slash JS. What this is doing is it's meaning I'm changing the location from my home directory to the micro SD card, the new file system we have here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new directory, which is going to be podcasts. And now I have a podcast directory here on my micro SD card. So when I put my newly created micro SD card into my Pine phone and boot my standard Mobian full disk encryption from internal storage, that micro SD card is now going to be accessible and usable to the Pine phone. So when you go into your program settings, say for example gpotter for podcasts, you go ahead and you change your preferences to use the new micro SD card and the directory for podcasts is going to be chosen from my Pine phone. So that's how you create a micro SD card that you can use as extended internal storage for your Pine phone or for another device. That's what I got today guys. I hope 
you got something out of this, if anything was confusing, don't hesitate to leave a comment, and I'll be happy to clear it all up for you and help you along. So leave a comment if you got a question, if you have a suggestion, share the video, subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on the Pine Phone.